So, as we're leaving Ballyhay this morning, we're sitting here waiting for a train um, to cross and incidentally, a man has to actually close those gates. They're not automatic. Um, we're going to dedicate today's video to gear. So, Brendan, number one top favorite piece of gear that has been most useful for you so far? The part sleeping pad on top of my pack. So it's only, it's five panels, I think. Seven panels, it's about half. Um, it's great to sit on during the day, keeps my butt off the ground, works well as an entryway in and out of the tent. Um, yeah, and, really good. And I would have to echo my number one is also, mine is actually a, a full regular length um, thermo rest, I think. Um, but same thing, so I can stretch out, lay down, whatever, best thing goes under my sleeping mattress, love it. Number one. We've just stepped into this lovely mountain bike trail forest a bit. Bike trail. Yeah, and it's very moist and very climby because it's rainy and stuff. But number two piece of equipment for me, my Compadel Carbon C3 hiking poles bedazzled, amazing, have, could not have done this without them so far. Number two for you. This bag here, it's actually a um, bike packing handlebar bag that I got from uh, Decathlon for like 15 bucks on special. I can clip it to the front. I can keep all my day stuff in it. So all my food is in here, my stove is in here. So I don't need to go into my pack during the middle of the day. It's got multiple options. The last couple of days you've seen it here. A couple of days ago it was sitting on top of my pack. Um, it's working as a good counterweight. I like that I can get in from either end. I can put the stove at one end. I can put the, the pot at the other. That's good. All right, cool. Let's keep going. Well, we're in this pine forest and protected by the wind. Number three for me is my clothing. I want to say probably my merino stuff that I wear at night or uh, whenever I'm not on trail. That's amazing. Doesn't stink. Comfortable, soft, all the rest of it. Um, my hiking clothes are great too. Love my um, sun hoodie from um, Mountain Hardware, Crater Lake, love it. You, number three? For me, I'd probably have to say my air mat, which is a Nemo Tensor insulated, long wide. Yeah. Um, times I, I kneel on the ground and I can feel that it's cold and I lay on my mat, I can't feel anything. Wonderful. Cool. Mm, the views are starting to open up as we climb and climb and climb. It's climb time. You need headlights in there, it's so dark. Yeah. We're in the Valley Hura, I think, mountain bike track. Here it is crossing the road. I'm gonna walk up here a little bit and just go past Larissa. Yeah. Just to give you an idea of the trail. So Squeezing by. dark in there. Oh. <laughs> That'll probably be a hoot though as a mountain bike rider. Yeah. While I'm waiting for Brendan, my number four and five gear, um, equal fourth probably would be my arm Freedom Light pack. So this thing, uh, things I don't like about it, some of the exterior pockets aren't the best, but anyway, um, it's actually done me really well and I wouldn't be able to do this without the pack. And then probably the same um, I really love my New Balance trail runners and I got those a couple weeks before we left and they've been really good and I can get an extra pair here in Ireland when they wear out because I'm sure they will with all the road walking. So yeah. Also, Brendan can't seem to go past his top three. It's, he's picked his favourite three children and, and that's it. So, but I'm going to keep going. The camera really does not do this justice in terms of how dark it is in under this canopy. Ooh, mysterious. Kind of pissing down now. Up we go up this rocky trail. Up, 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 up. Oh, it's windy. 
There you go, Katie, chug. Still climbing. this really rocky track which is a bit different what you can't see the different distance really is that it goes straight up again on the other side Whew, big day yeah. we've got another climb before we descend got 9.4 k's to go so I'm gonna probably not film a lot more because it's really wet and we just need to get off the mountain now we don't get hypothermic because there's nowhere to stop out of the rain. Okay, I got this. We've just hunkered down in this little tiny flat bit just in the shelter of these trees before we go back out there for 10 minutes. So yeah, hot drink and something to eat and now we're gonna get going straight away before we get cold. Okay, one more rise and then we start the descent into wherever we're going, belly organ, yeah. I'm just here eating my Mars bar while Brendan's over there. Drop in a bog in the bog. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it takes you 20 minutes. <laughs> when we're out here, all of a sudden, you can do a one minute, two minute bog. <laughs> anyway, we're descending off the mountain now. It's been fucking miserable up here. That bog was horrific. Anyway, I know I keep saying that. Anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> I'm done. I'm so done today. The rain has more or less stopped and I suppose we should pay homage to our rain jackets. Mine's an Arcteryx Beta rain jacket. It's done well today. And how's your dairy farmer's jacket yeah. gone? It's done well. It's done well. I'd like to have had the pants, but I am denied about the pants at the time. Um, if I come across a cull, I might buy a pair. Okay. Awesome. This is pretty. So pretty. And that was that. We hit the road and found our B&B. And look at this beautiful hydrangea. I've never seen a red one. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.